Today, we're dealing with poop. Not the metaphorical kind, the actual kind. Let's do this. <laughs> the Dookie. You're the Duchess of Dookie. You're the queen of... <laughs> you're still filming? Yeah, you're the queen of caca. Oh my goodness no? gracious. <laughs> really the problem you guys why won't you just poop outside why won't you do it outside you bad girl we have been waiting for a, a warm set of days and it has been a warm set of days has it not since the day before yesterday correct and it's been above 35 degrees and so far as you can see we got this side cleaned out. That side is still the land of Dookie. <laughs> and so, that's what we're working on. I like the Queen of Kaka. You don't like that one? I think I think we found some kind of a birthday present for you. What do you think? A Whoa! She's coming at me with Steamy Dookie. Oh, Grace! I thought we were friends. Don't run away from your feelings. Oh, Dottie. She's like, get him off me. <laughs> you know. Hold on a second. I think I have the solution to our problem, baby. Uh, here we go. How to potty train a cow. What? You don't think that would solve a lot of problems? Catherine, excuse me. Yes, I think it would solve tons of problems, but uh, if you invented something that you could potty train a cow with, you'd be a gazillionaire. There's a video right here that says a potty trained bison is looking for a forever home. So, Nana, how did you get tape on your ear there? Nana. Should I take care? Okay, let's get that off of there. Hold still. Gentle, gentle, gentle. How'd you get this tape on it? Ooh, look at that. That's nice. You're still shedding, huh? Are you ready to pounce? Okay. Well, you want that back? No, you don't. Do you want to spend? Nana. I guess she is offended by the tape. Well, there you go. What you gonna do? What you gonna do now? Watch out. It could get you. It could get you, Nana. It's watching you. Gotta be careful. Okay, now Mama here is gonna be making some delicious biscuits for our dinner. We're having um, shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. And these aren't your southern style biscuits. These are a lumpy biscuit that they go together really, really quick. And they're super yummy. And you don't they're... have to knead them. You just clump them in there and you bake them. All right, so we got everything. And these are in the cookbook, right? This is in the first cookbook, um, our family's favorites. And uh, you can find that on, I don't remember what the page is. But they're so. good. So we're gonna mix together our dry ingredients. We got? Four cups of flour. All right, so if you if you don't want to buy the, the cookbook, here it is. You're going to find out re the recipe. <laughs> Just right. write it down. Right, and you all are going to be shocked, but this takes a half a cup of sugar. Yes, it does. And it is delicious. Delightful. Half a cup of sugar, and I need two tablespoons of baking powder. I need my tablespoon. Tablespoon, did you say? Two tablespoons, yep. Two. Yep. 
That's a good amount of baking powder. Mm-hmm. And then a teaspoon of salt. And then, then your wet ingredients go in, right? Then your, then your, um, your fats go in. So the recipe, um, we wrote it with uh, two sticks of butter. And yes, I did say two sticks of butter. Um, but we've altered it since doing that, where we add one stick of butter and then eight tablespoons or half a cup of lard. We really like that lard and butter combination. It gets nice and flaky. Yeah. I'm just going to whisk those together. And I've got our stick of butter cut into cubes. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of sprinkle that in there. And this is cold butter. Sprinkle it in there, yeah. Butter and, sprinkler. Right. And then I'm gonna take out about a half a cup. And again, I don't really measure a whole lot with this. So I'm just gonna grab a big spoon. So you feel like that's enough. Yep. That's about a half a cup. We'll and then I'll it. break that up into bit, bits. Now, why are you doing that? Because I know why, but they don't know. Well, when I get this all broken up in here, whoops, I will go ahead and I will squish the flour and lard and butter together to kind of coat the flour with the lard and the butter. It really helps to make a really nice flaky biscuit. You can do that with pie crust too. All right. So what's next after the lard? Well, my hands get in there. So we're gonna take the flour and the, the lard and the butter and just kind of, just kind of squish it together. And you're you wanting could, to incorporate it? Yes, kind of thing? just kind of, you're gonna coat the flour with the fat. Now you could do this in a food processor if you don't like getting your hands all buttery, buttery and floury and I don't lardy. Really care. <laughs> lardy. These, yeah, lardy. God gave you, gave you these hands first, so that's what I use. They're easier to wash than a food processor. That is true. And how long do you do that? Until I don't have any more big chunks of butter or lard. Until it resembles like the, the butter and the lard kind of are broken up into pea-sized pieces. Okay. So you're almost there. Yeah. That didn't take long. No, it doesn't. Oh, there's one. The big one there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> then what's next? What that? Oh, that's a clump of sugar. I found something hard. I couldn't figure out what it was. There's a cat in here. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a, there's a few more at the bottom. All right. Now, what we need are is a cup and a half of buttermilk. And this is actual buttermilk that uh, we used, or we saved, after we made butter the other day. Measuring cup. See the kind of measuring cup I use. Oh. I failed. It's a wardrobe malfunction. A little bit. So now I'm going to pour this in here and mix it up with, um, you can use a KitchenAid. I've got this in my KitchenAid bowl. I'll, bowl. I'll probably just mix it with a spoon. So you don't want to overwork the, the dough. do you do that for? Just until it's not dry. So you're almost there. Yeah. There's a few dry bits at the bottom. This is where a KitchenAid kind of comes in handy sometimes. But this is fine. There we go. Now, I'm just going to make even clumps. Of biscuits. Of biscuits. Oh, Future biscuits. I want to grease that first. I don't want to just throw that in there dry. Right. 
those are big biscuits. You want me to make them smaller? It's up to you. They're gonna get bigger, right? Mm-hmm. Now, these are ready to go into a 350 degree oven for about 15, 20 minutes. So they're nice and golden brown. And you don't need to let them rise? Nope, nope, they will rise in the uh, oven. All right, for how long again? 15 to 20 minutes at 350. Rock on, let's see what they look like here when they're done. <laughs> All right, they're done. They're done. They're done. They're done. It's dinner time. Yep. See? Ooh, Bumpy look at that. biscuits. They kind of smoosh together, but so what? They look great, Mama. Tastes so yummy. Well, with that said, folks, it's dinner time. Get your copy of the uh, whatever it is. Our family favorites cookbook. Yeah, that one. It's That's on the a, website. It's a classic. Yep. Yep. So <laughs> there you go. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, poop. Loads of it. And biscuits. They do not, do not go together. No. Which one of these is not like the other? <laughs> yeah. Poop and biscuits. Oof. What are you going to do? That's life. Garbage in, garbage out, right? Ew. This is real homesteading. Not those videos where you've got the scantily clad thumbnail girl so that everybody watches and then it's just like some kind of glamour thing yeah most of most of what we do is dirty and sweaty and gross mm -hmm. animals getting hay mm -hmm. poop mm -hmm. <sighs> homesteading yeah h is for homesteading <laughs> poop is for homesteading <laughs> anyway yeah, oh, it's so glamorous. Yeah. Anyway. You can use it as a mask. Maybe we could sell it. Oh. Sell it to people. Don't they use bat poo for that, too? I don't want to know. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day. Mm -hmm.